morning to you laddies, my name is Al, and welcome to a YouTuber Christmas Gamer Edition. Today I'm going to be making some special Septicai cookies for the boss of Bossatronia, YouTube gamer Jack Septicai. If you like gaming, I highly suggest go check him out. Links will be in the description below. White flour, baking powder, baking soda, butter, that is room temperature. I forgot to do this and eventually had to just stick it on top of a warming oven. White sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, black food coloring gel, some neon food coloring and some of those regular, and a plastic cup for the cookie cutter. First thing you're going to do, preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So in a small bowl, you're going to put two and three-fourths a cup of the flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Just stir it with a fork. And you can just set that aside. Now in a large bowl, you're going to put in one and a half cups of sugar and one cup of butter. So let's just like smush it. Oh man, it's working, it's working. Ha, I don't need no machine. It's a good workout. You don't need to go to the gym, just make some Jacksepticeye cookies. Okay, so let's see if this works. You know, that looks pretty cream, creamed enough, I'd have to say. I really hope I'm doing this right. So next, you're gonna take an egg, and then one, yeah, one teaspoon of the vanilla extract. So gradually blend in the vanilla and the egg. I like to just make it into one big giant pump. Nailed it. So now we're gonna just... Okay, you know what, let's just, let's get our hands dirty. I don't even care. There we go. Yeah, that's this is where the cup comes in too. So I'm just gonna wash my hands. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is make the cookie cutter. Put all around it as evenly as possible. And then you're just gonna cut a little space. Okay, and the reason we're doing that is because right here, when we cookie cutter this thing, we want to have a little space because I'm going to include the little optical squiggly doohickey thing. So we're gonna like flower the counter. Have this a little bit flowery so it doesn't stick. Make up a little thickness. To be flowering this thing too. Oh my god. Oh. So let's just um. Oh. Not push that hard. Gently. Oh, you know, whatever. Gently wiggle this down. I'm not gonna press too hard because I don't want to break the, um, I mean, scratch the counter. So we're just gonna, got a little tail thing going. Okay, so we got our first batch of Decepticeye cookies. And they're gonna go in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. I'm gonna put in for eight. All right, so now we're gonna make the icing for the sugar cookies. So what you're gonna need is basically just milk, and icing sugar, and you kind of just mix it until you get the right thickness. You don't need too much of the black since that's just the pupil. There you go, a little bit of icing sugar. That was way too much milk. So now you're just gonna stir it in. This is optional, but it'll make the color darker. So you just use some um, cocoa powder. There you go. So now you're gonna take your, where is it? Black, your, um, the black. Oh, that's the timer for the cookies. Okay, so um, I ended up stopping recording last night because I was really tired and it took everything was just kind of tiny things were going wrong. The cookies, um, just kind of started throwing them in the oven and then taking them out and looking at them. I just kind of did that. I lost track of how much time I put them in for. Only putting them in for the time, like the 8 to 10 or 8 to whatever it was, was not working. They were so soft and if I had tried to pick it up, they would just crumble. We also had some deformities, as you can see. I got my icing stuff. Oh, piping bags, put them in piping bags. Let's get started on decorating these things so that we can be done and I can take a break from cooking. So you gotta just take it. This is not nearly big enough. Oh God, I betcha I'm going to run out. Boop, twisty fresh. Try and make a circle, what? Oh. Pressure's on. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try another method because um, the other one's kind of dripped and um, got all sad and droopy and now I'm kind of sad. Anyway, so I put them in the fridge, so hopefully that'll help it set up. I'm gonna try some painting on the cookies. I don't know if this will work, but they're just from like a the local Dollar Tree, so they're only like... So let's just see how it works, because, I mean, what, what have we got to you? Oops. So let's just paint it on. Um, I'm going to put this in the fridge to let this layer kind of settle, calm down. Okay, so I'm going to chill in the fridge for a little bit. Yes, there we go. And we're going to go running back and forth to put this in the fridge now. Paint in the black. Ooh, you know, I'm actually quite awkward in front of a camera, I've noticed. I'm, I apologize for that. So I just decided that I'm going to also add a little detail. Veins in the septic eye. Bloodshot lines. So we're finally done and we finally got our Jack septic eye septic eye cookies. This is what happened when I tried the piping. Now I'm just gonna test and see how they taste. Chewy. You definitely taste the butter. Overall, I'd have to say, pretty, pretty good considering I've never made these before. Alright, so that was the first episode of a December long series called A YouTuber Christmas. So in the next video, I'll be making some Jacksepticeye Christmas ornaments for my mini YouTuber Christmas tree. So if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, your family, your mom, your uncle, your great great aunt, your cousin twice removed. However that goes, spread the cookies. Also, Jacksepticeye, if you're watching this, you're awesome, dude. Just know that full out. You're awesome, you're hilarious, and you know what? You really deserve a cookie. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next video! Not doing that again. That Jack, you got something special that that doesn't sound right in my voice.